Welcome back on Mr. Campbell. Today I'm going to show you how to make a green screen video using Canva or in Canva. Now this came up from uh, one of our users. It's how to not have the circle around you. So there's really not a, there's a workaround that I'm going to show you. It doesn't solve the problem just internally in Canva. So this comes from TLN 1111. Uh, when you start recording a video in Canva, it puts a little circle like a frame around. You can change the shape of the frame, but it doesn't allow you to kind of put yourself in the background. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So let's jump into Canva and get started. So I'm going to pull up the screen and kind of shrink myself down here. So historically, when you go into Canva and you go to uploads and then click on record yourself, it's going to ask what information you want. And you can see right there, just kind of put me in a little box down um, in the bottom, for me, it's left-hand corner for you, it might be right. I can change that shape, but it doesn't really remove the background as if I'm talking in the video. So the quick workaround, and it is quick, right, is to record your video just of you someplace else, find the background that you want, and then remove the background from your video. So I'm gonna walk you through what I just explained. So I'm going to exit the studio. So I've got just a clean template here. Um, I've got some background. So if I go to my images, you can just drag one of your images over. Uh, control left click and set this as the background image. So it'll fill that entire space. So you can see that I'm doing that. And then when I go to videos, I'm going to grab a video of something that I've done earlier this year. And I pull my video in and I'm going to shrink it down. And there's that. So... This is a video that I sent to somebody else, obviously. So now that I have my video, I can change the size after I remove the background. But when I click on edit video right up here, I don't have my normal red mouse right now because I'm doing multiple things at once. But when I click on edit video, I can click on background remover and uh, the video is too long for a background. So I need to find a shorter one. So let's see if I have others. I'm going to go back. Or the project I was just in untitled design here so I'm going to delete this video go to uploads let's see if I have videos that are a little short 33 seconds so we'll grab this one pull this one over and we'll shrink this down so we've got the video right there then we go to edit video right here next to the little scissor cut editor then we click on remove background and it's gonna take a few minutes, right? So as it's going, what this will do is it's, you've seen this before, Canva does this with images and they do stuff really well. If Canva is your main source of video editing, editing this is gonna work for you. There are other video, edo, video editing tools. There are other video editing tools that are out there that allow you to do this easily. Uh, there's Camtasia, there's CapCut, uh, which is free. There is a paid version. Uh, Camtasia is a paid version. There's Adobe. Um, multiple uh, programs in Adobe allow you to do that. There's some other free ones out there you can find on the internet. Um, but if you're strictly a Canva user and that's kind of your home, this is going to be your workaround. And I actually didn't know until doing this live on video that there is a time limit. And I'm not going to test it out to see what it is. That's a little discouraging. Um, and so one of the options that you could do is use a traditional green screen, throw it in there and just use the chroma key to remove the background and put an image in. Um, so then you're actually just changing the video, not the image with the video behind it. So you'll see here that it's done. I can change the size of this and I can move myself around the background. And if I play the video again, this is gonna be me. This is an example. It is really clean. You don't get the blurry lines that you kind of see in Zoom or Google Meet or some of those other uh, conferencing tools. But if you're really trying to up your game, I would suggest that you go to one of the purchase methods. Um, CapCut is actually pretty solid and it allows you to put video on video, uh, which is really cool. Anyway, uh, Tia, I hope this helped. I know it didn't solve like the problem exactly, but it is a workaround. Uh, using Canva. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.